and welcome back. So don't mind that I have the same scarf on, I'm just filming two videos in a row. But today I wanted to share with you my tips and tricks on how to stay organized, what I do to maybe make plans for my goals, and then also pretty much just ways to keep everything together. My number one tip is something that I love, love, love to do. If you know me, you know that I love to make lists. I do it all the time, every day. Even my lists have lists. So I have quite a few little notebooks and different planners that I use. So to start off, I would recommend you buy a cute, inspirational notebook. This is the one I chose to buy. I just really think the cover is really cute and it's something I'm going to want to use and refer to often. Okay, so what I did with this notebook is for the front page, I pretty much break down my life into different categories and aspects. So everything I want to focus on. Everyone's is going to be different, but for example, I have work life, school life, family, <clears throat> friends, um, health, staying organized, relaxing time, things like that. And then within the next few pages, I break them down into each category and I write what I want from those categories and then what I'm going to do to get to be where I want with them. And then at the end of that, I write why I want these things and that's going to help motivate me to keep working towards them. So now that I have everything that I want and reasons why I want them written down in this book, I need to set a plan of action to make sure I actually get there. So I use a planner, I just, I've had this one for almost a year now, and this is more just writing down due dates, things like that, nothing too inspirational, it's just more of keeping things organized and knowing when things are due. So I use that just to keep on track. And then I have this second planner, which I got from Plum Paper. It's on Etsy, and then I also bought these decorative stickers on there. So I like to decorate it every week, and what's nice about this one is I can plan at what time of the day I want to get things done, and it just keeps me really organized so I can see the whole layout of my week at once. In addition to that, I buy these cute little notepads. They're usually in the dollar section at Target, and then I write down a list of things I want to accomplish for the day. It's just a personal preference. I really like the feeling of actually marking off that I accomplished something and then it keeps me motivated to keep going and accomplish more. And then I feel like your goals need to be really specific. So for example, if you're trying to drink more water, maybe say you're going to drink three cups every day for one week and then the next week you're going to drink four cups every day for the week and then five the next week until you get to the amount you're wanting. The other thing that's really important is setting deadlines for yourself so that you actually have some pressure on you to get things done. I also use that in this notebook as well. And then another important thing is to e go back and evaluate where you're at and where you want to be. So just keep checking in frequently to see if you've made progress and if not, what's stopping you from getting there. So that you can change your daily habits because really what, you just have to do something small every day to get you closer to whatever it is you really want. So yeah, if you make tiny steps every day, you're slowly going to keep moving forward and eventually get to where you want to be. That's really all I have now for this video. I hope you guys enjoy these tips, and of course, let me know down below if you have any suggestions yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.